Bert went about it the wrong way. He tried to box. It was right. three one-minute rounds. If you put any boxer in there, even if Larry Holmes would agree to a three woman around fight with me, he would have got knocked out in the first round because he can He wouldn't have the time to jab. When you jab and bo- in, in like that kind of format, you lose points. You don't. You don't win points. You can't. You have to be the aggressor. I see. Were you at all nervous going into that, or did you pretty much know he didn't have a chance? I'd been in front of, you know, that many people many times prior. So it was just really relaxed. I mean, it just, I'm home, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm home in the ring. Had you seen any of the Brawl for All before you got in there? Of course. I, I mean, everybody's seen Brawl for All somewhere down the line in their childhood. Now, do you, are you yeah, surprised? Yeah, I thought about WrestleMania, but yeah, I'd seen some of the Brawl for All. Because they were allowing takedowns. I mean, if I were to have fought you in that, for instance, I may, may have tried a takedown knowing that uh, your expertise is boxing. Are you surprised that – well, I guess you are surprised he tried to box you, as you mentioned. Yeah, I mean, it was – I mean, the whole fight lasted, what, 18 seconds? It was pretty quick. Yeah. Were you concerned at all that you caused permanent damage to him because he was quite out of it there? Yeah, that's part of life. I mean – he knew, you know, two two grown men going there are going to do combat. You know something bad is going to happen. Did you tell him anything backstage or anything after the fight? No, I mean, we, we got along fine. I think that's what made him so nervous that I was so comfortable about it. Bob Hawley, I don't know if you remember him, but apparently he wrote in his book that when you came backstage after knocking him out, you put your hands up and you said you got the job. Is is that an exaggeration, or do you recall that? What do you mean? Uh, I guess this wrestler who was working for WWE at the time said that when you came back through the curtain, you put your hands up, and you said you got the job, whatever that meant. No, never happened. Okay. Never is, it, happened. is it true that uh, you think that Vince actually – wanted you to beat Bart Gunn as punishment because they wanted Steve Williams to win that tournament? Oh, without a doubt. Without a doubt. I guess you got over better than anyone in that. He might not even want to care. He might not even care. Right. You know, I mean, he he wanted to see, you know, an entertaining fight. And that was, I mean, everybody loves Brawl for All. Everybody loves when I knocked him out at WrestleMania. Yeah, people I, still talk about it. I'm sorry, do what? People still talk about it all these years later. Well, The Rock put it in his, you know, wrote about it in his book. <laughs> you mean The Rock, you know, we, we talk a lot during, you know, the fights and after the fights. And... Was there any contract offer for you since uh, you made such quick work of Bart Gunn? You were kind of yeah, over with the crowd. That's where a lot of people thought I wanted to go into wrestling, but the money wasn't there for me. I was oh. making so much more money than they were, you know, fighting, fighting. I was fighting two to three times a month, and, you know, and I didn't have to go on the road 300 something di- days out of the year like they did. Did you get uh, a pay-per-view bonus from the, for that fight, or was it a flat fee? No, it was a flat fee. Okay. And I understand there was almost an MMA fight between you and Bart in Japan in later years, but it fell through? I never heard about it. Okay. You know, there, there was talk of promoters saying, oh, that'd be a great something to put together. I said, yeah, I'll put it together. I'll be game. But it, it, it never got even close to happening. Did you uh, watch the Brawl for All documentary that you were in? Yeah, I seen it. It turned what out pretty good. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was a pretty good documentary. I noticed that Bart Gunn looks totally different now. It's, he's not even recognizable. Pretty much, yeah. I thought the same thing. People get old. They've changed. It's been a long time. Do you think he could have had more of a, a fighting career if he had learned from that uh, that mistake and kept going and kept training? Well, he actually had some MMA fights and done very well. He did good. I guess that was just the end of his wrestling career, unfortunately, in the U.S. because everyone remembered that, unfortunately, for him. Yeah, I, th- I think it was over before that. You know, after the, the first brawl for all, where, you know, 
he did what he did and you know they, they didn't want him to win thank you for watching the hannibal tv please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews match videos or news updates support us on patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad free and help our channel grow follow us on twitter at the hannibal tv for instant updates